How can we bring creative fancy to life with offcuts of precious materials? Pichitosh, Hermes Recreation and Invention Workshop, has something to say. In the Hermes workshops, Petit Dash is a place filled with a unique energy. Established in 2010, it is now under the creative direction of Godefroy de Villeux. Its pioneering method involves designing objects by recovering and optimizing offcuts of exceptional materials used by Hermes' various métiers. Its creation begins in the material store. Materials that are dormant or no longer used arrive here from the house's different métiers. They are stored on tall shelves in a profusion of colors, shades, and textures. Ce qui est très riche chez Petit Âge, c'est la diversité des matières, parce qu'on a, on récupère, on reçoit euh, de tous les métiers de la maison euh, des matériaux très différents, euh, qui n'ont pas forcément l'habitude de se rencontrer, comme la porcelaine, le cuir, la soie, euh, le cristal. Toutes ces matières, on les combine, on les assemble et ça devient un nouvel objet. La façon dont je euh, travaille ici, euh, c'est d'inviter de, euh, des artistes, des designers, des illustrateurs, des gens qui ont une sensibilité à la matière, à venir euh, explorer euh, cette cave à matière, euh, regarder les matériaux collectés, euh, venir les, les récolter, euh, et à partir de ces matériaux, d'avoir des nouvelles idées, euh, transformer euh, ces matières euh, dans des objets encore, euh, des objets inconnus. Inspiration is ignited when materials meet imagination. A bear is sheathed with nine types of leather and sheepskin materials of both gloss and suede finishes, providing a high visual and tactile contrast. Open sheaths to discover the secret. It turns out to be an adorable cupboard for items you would like to keep, or simply a bookcase for avid readers. Matching with the bare shelf, the stool stands out with a touch of fashion flair by using studs on wooden sole mules to fasten leather and suede on the oak wood frame. Starting from a rich range of materials, the creative process of Petit H is like no other. Alors, petit H, c'est une façon de faire qui est très particulière et qui est euh, assez unique euh, parce que son, on démarre en fait de la matière pour créer un objet. Ce qui n'est pas du tout la même chose dans les autres métiers de la Maison Hermès où euh, à partir d'une thématique et d'un thème qui est donné euh, tous les ans, on dessine, on produit la matière dont on a besoin pour fabriquer ces objets. Nous, chez Petit H, c'est l'inverse. On part d'un matériau et à partir de ce matériau, on a des idées et on met au point l'objet avec les artisans. Hermes started out by manufacturing harnesses and saddles. Materials from the equestrian workshop are now given a new life at Petit Dash. This fun-filled swing is composed of straps from horse harnesses connected to the board with stirrups. Saddles and saddle trees evoke inspiration. By putting together a saddle and a tailor-made frame, a swinging stool is reminiscent of carefree childhood days. It takes sheer imagination to couple a saddle tree with a snow sled. The soft yet durable buffalo skipper leather offers extra comfort. With the telescope packed in one of the canvas saddle bags and a rokobar blanket tied up to the back, you're prepared for an ultimate Arctic adventure. Dismantled and reworked, the saddle tree is transformed into a stylish wall mirror that resembles a folk art mask. Covered with leather in different colors, the object is as decorative as functional, adding a hint of glamour to everyday life. Inspiration comes from thinking outside the box. When the saddle tree is placed horizontally, it becomes the backrest of a chair. Skillless attention has been paid to the leather upholstery to eliminate visible seams and stitches and endow the chair with comfort and aesthetics. 
Aussi, euh, on aime bien euh, mélanger nos matières à des matériaux qu'on découvre, euh, comme cette grande table en terrazzo euh, qui a été euh, imaginée par euh, Nicolas Doll et Julien Demanche, qui est euh, le mélange euh, de pièces métalliques, euh, de boutons de nacre, euh, de morceaux de cristal avec du marbre pour réaliser euh, ces grandes tables en terrazzo. Springing from the floors and walls of Venetian palaces, Terrazzo has been rediscovered by Petitache since 2014. Metal components from Hermes leather items breathe a new life into the centuries-old material that is commonplace in modern architecture. Materials have its own stories, and when they are brought together, they form a new one. Shards from nine tableware collections can be found on this coffee table. Cut by hand with tile nippers, they are prepared with strength, patience, and precision. More than 4,400 pieces of porcelain shards, metal parts, and buttons are placed in concentric circles to form a unique and captivating mosaic pattern. Petit H, c'est à la fois un laboratoire d'idées, euh, mais c'est aussi euh, une approche autour des matières. C'est de considérer les matériaux d'exception qu'on travaille euh, et de les considérer jusqu'au bout. In recent years, Petit H has opened up to new métiers and new encounters. Artists, designers and artisans seek to astonish by promoting the use of techniques never before applied by the house, combined with the know-how of Hermes 16 métiers. For the first time, Petit H features clay objects produced in collaboration with pottery artisans Patry Hevelle, one of the oldest ceramics makers in southern France, which, like Hermes, was founded in 1837. The earthenware jar has a typically simple and unadorned style, with the iconic handle of the classic Kelly bag uniquely placed at the opening. The lidded clay pot has a pair of leather handles, each fixed on its curved surface with three studs, which is simple in appearance but difficult to achieve. The lid itself is a storage tray. This extraordinary clay composter is equipped with handles of the vintage suitcase, as well as skateboard rollers from Hermes Horizon, the special bespoke workshop of the Maison. Thermally modified and oiled ash wood offers high durability and stability. Incorporating a saddle tree, the back basket opens up an encounter between the crafts of saddle making and willow weaving. Combining an equestrian saddle tree, canvas, cowhide, and raw wicker, the back basket is as functional as it is fashionable. Curved and overlapped in the hands of skillful artisans, wicker turns into delicate pattern, which is then complemented by leather and canvas. On aime beaucoup aussi euh, chez Petit H, dans nos explorations et nos rencontres, euh, c'est de combiner euh, des composants euh, et d'imaginer euh, des nouveaux objets, comme cette guitare. On a récupéré un arçon, on a mis un manche euh, de guitare et c'est devenu une guitare électrique. Ce qui est incroyable, euh, c'est de réussir euh, à travers cet objet à créer une rencontre, celle d'un artisan cellier et celle d'un luthier, euh, Jérôme Cognier, à Paris. The electric guitar crafted out of the saddle tree is the first musical instrument by Hermes. The motto of Petit H, nothing is lost, everything is transformed, and an object is created. By upholding the house's long-standing respect for the artisanal model and commitment to sustainability, Petit H has each component, each piece, each fragment released from its original function to be given a new life and a new use by artists and artisans. By reusing materials, Petit H creates functional, beautiful and repairable objects that can be handed down from generation to generation. Based on a bicycle wheel from Hermes Bespoke Workshop, Designers and artisans work together to create the Alibaba's trolley, a removable shelving combining a wheel and a stool. 
a St. Louis crystal vase and several Mikado pickup sticks are placed in a whimsical manner, providing a pleasant surprise. The creations of Petit Dash reveal shared energy and an enchanted childlike attitude. An onion, a cabbage, and a carrot in leather adorn the porcelain bento boxes. Buttons give a playful wink. Not necessarily for food, the box is decent enough for jewelry and precious objects. Besides scarves, what else can Sophie use to craft? The colorful silk hammock is particularly inviting on a summer afternoon. Woven with silk rope of 300 meters, the hammock connects at both ends with straps from the equestrian workshop. It took artisans 70 hours to make 1,000 weaver's knots by hand to make the hammock solid, durable, and attractive. Think differently and see what others don't. More than a piece of jewelry, a necklace can be a stylish home ornament. Eight strands of leather rope are woven together like mooring cable and tied up with sailor's knots. The tableware items are separated by corks to avoid collisions and create a sense of rhythm. Le seul cahier des charges euh, euh, qui est très important, c'est qu'un objet euh, petit H, et comme un objet Hermès, doit s'inscrire dans un usage du quotidien. C'est un objet dont on se sert, mais qui a été euh, conçu différemment, euh, qui a été conçu euh, le long d'un process de création, euh, d'une création à rebours, euh, et qui euh, euh, est très souvent porteur euh, de cette liberté et génère de la surprise. The home of Petit Dash, the Hermès store on Rue de Seva in Paris offers the only location to permanently carry the Petit Dash line. The space is a modular, light-filled and ever-changing pod whose staging is renewed with the seasons and the arrival of new pieces. Every year, Petit Dash sets off on its travels. Two stopovers extend the creative process by forging ties with local artists from various cultural backgrounds. At every new stopover, Petit Dash collaborates with the local set designer to create staging that evokes the traditions of the host country. Some of the objects have a direct link with the country visited. In autumn 2023, during its stopover at the Hermé store in Beijing, China World, Petit Dash presented its many areas of know-how in a dialogue between traditional materials, creativity, and sustainability. Designed by Katz, a duo of Chinese architects, the poetically harmonious scenery of reeds and terracotta invites you to stroll through a field of objects that play a game of hide-and-seek between the reed stems. The Dragon Bookcase is inspired by the Dragon Totem in Chinese culture. Le dragon imaginé par Julie Saphirstein, l'exemple de cette combinaison, cet assemblage de matières, il y a de la soie, du cristal, de la porcelaine, du bois, toutes ces matières qu'on collecte et qu'on reçoit des différents métiers de la maison. Its sparkling eyes are actually crystal stoppers of St. Louis decanters. Its head and tail are embellished with brightly colored tableware items for a fun-filled surprise. Each storage compartment is lined with leather or silk fabrics, which have been neatly folded and finished. Taking artisans 244 hours to finish, the bookcase is made up of separate parts, adaptable to varied spaces while revealing the majestic outline of a moving dragon. Petit Dash is constantly inspired by local cultures and at the same time shares its savoir-faire, sustainability, recreation and responsibility worldwide. Cette idée du respect de la matière, de l'éco-conscience est quelque chose qui a toujours existé chez Hermès depuis son origine. La matière est précieuse, elle est rare et finalement Petit Âge, d'une certaine façon, a toujours existé dans les racines d'Hermès. Euh, 